These are the voyages of Orpheus, king of the Thracian tribe Cyanese, father of songs. The god Hermes fashioned the lyre and gave it to Apollo, who drew from it sounds so melodious that when he played in Olympus, the gods forgot all else. Orpheus, equipped with his lyre, and no one could resist his beauty. <laughs> Wait, this is so wrong. Wait, what is it? What is that beautiful music? Hold your course, men. But the music, we must find its origins. No! I wonder what I should do. Men, pull yourselves away from the music and listen to me. But the music, the music. Continue on our projected course and do not be tempted by the sounds you hear. They are the sirens. They're leading us to our death on the rocky shores. Orpheus's lyre produced beautiful music that drowned out the lovely but fatal voices of the sirens. The ship was put back on her course and the winds sped her away from this dangerous place. Having returned to the shores of Thrace, Orpheus encounters the beautiful maiden Eurydice. That music! It's beautiful! That girl, she she's the love of my life. Eurydice! Orpheus! I I He was still alive. He played his lyre, 
He played and played and played and played and played and played and played some more until a band of maenads came upon him and slew the gentle, the press musician. And there, to this day, the nightingales sing more sweetly than anywhere else. I'll go first. Keep, just keep rolling the film. We, we added out the voices. And then we have the narrators come on. You do want <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then um, you're in sync. No, just you're, you're in sync. And then she stays out. And then this comes in. Thank <laughs> you.